Hey guys, my name is VeteranDog91 and welcome back to the channel. So today we're playing Dyson Sphere Program Episode 6 and we've got some fun and new interesting stuff that we can play around with and uh, I've got us kind of set for the episode hopefully. So the first major thing that we, we have been working on since last episode is production of graphite and the production of organic crystals, which are both very important resources to what we're going to be doing today. So, the other thing that we unlocked last episode but hadn't built yet is these assembling Mark IIs, which I'm using currently to produce my the uh, microcrystalline chips, which I did set up on screen last episode right here, and we were just using a basic assembler. But I swapped to the more advanced assembler so that we didn't have to wait so long and I put five of them down. Uh, we also filled up our blue or red cube capacity, which means that I'm off camera. I also set up this little mon monster to produce some uh, hydrogen fuel rods, which allow us to basically keep our fuel way higher than we did before with these slightly more advanced fuel cells that we basically, you actually start the game with uh, five of these. But now we can run them permanently and it's absolutely great. Our hydrogen is however full, which means we need to find a way to use hydrogen while, of course, not using hydrogen, which means I want to set up some fractioning stills today to start producing the, some deuterium and using hydrogen. Um, we can use them for a few other recipes. But, or we can build accumulators as well, power storage, we've got ray receivers, we've got all this cool tech that we've got unlocked, but we need resources to be able to use them. So. Today, one of the major things we're going to be doing is setting up these logistics stations that we unlocked last episode. That'll allow us to basically take the need for oil refineries, and I already set one down over here just to kind of mess around with the size, but we can build these, which can set a supply and demand. In this case, the only thing really around this node here, if we exit out of that, is crude oil and four nodes of it. We can also bring the coal up from over here if we so pleased, but of course crude oil is the main resource that can be transported here. So we can take crude oil and we can set it to a supply, max that out, and we can throw, eh, we'll, we'll, we'll put five logistic drones in it, and boom. Now the next major thing that you have to do is set up a power system of some sort, so of course we're going to do that as well, um, and we're just going to do it coming off of here. And that was a really bad straight line. So let me just solve, fix that real quick. I mean, it looks, add some character, right? Anyway, um, you know, so boop. And make it a little bit thicker here. And just make a little bit look a little bit better for straight. No, now of course we're gonna have to hook this all up to power, so important question one is hooking it up to power and of course I actually built that off uh, why wouldn't I have so let's go ahead and oh well what that is is actually part of the reason that we didn't build up here before is the arc of the planet so course we got a little bit to work out there but that's all right so we can bring our little bit of power on as close to a straight line as we can we'll bring it up through there and now we've got power connecting to this and this can produce power for charging and of course takes power from this which we have plenty of so let's go ahead and well we're gonna need some oil refineries so that's something that I haven't produced so give me just a few seconds here and I will be back with some oil refineries hey guys welcome back so let's go ahead and grab and I already put down three of the oil refineries in, or sorry I keep saying refineries oil extractors in their position so that we were aware of where they needed to go so the next thing we need to do is pipe everything together and get all that working together okay so to start setting this all up to get everything working together we're gonna run some beautiful pipes out to here and I'm gonna run this one up to here 
for now i'm gonna run it just like that of course we've got this one up here which is colliding with other objects apparently uh, that's fine this one's gonna come down to there run over to here and then it's gonna merge onto this one so that we can have the same conveyor line um, running these two now the next two are over here and this one is out of range is it nope it's not out of range any longer we're gonna bring it over like so then we're gonna bring it up probably to there this one's gonna come out and we'll mer continue to work with this line where we bring it in well actually so we need it to be out to here so this will be our, our merging line and that should work hopefully so yep looks like that'll work it's beautiful being able to keep the power up and running and flowing without having to go all over the place to get that set up that way so let's first of all set up our power distribution network here and what I'm gonna do is set up a power network like that when you go like that and across these little areas of sand and stuff I'm just gonna patch them up with some dirt to make it look genuinely better in my opinion and we'll kind of curve that around so that it doesn't look quite so dorky um, but I don't really want to do a bunch of uh, network stuff up here so we can build that node there build that there and of course build that there and that will power that oil production facility there Okay, so once we've got this powered up, this supposedly, oh, it doesn't have a network connection, which would make sense because, well, it's not connected. So then we're gonna go like this and we're gonna go as far out here as we can. We'll do a nice little curved arc on that. We'll go down and come over. And just before anything gets done over there, we're going to break that off. We can rotate our camera, if you didn't know. I don't know why that tip just barely popped up. We've been playing the game for how long? Um, so let's go ahead and get the nodes ran over. And I think right here for this side is a good spot to do it. Um, we want to, we wanted, of course, put some storage in so that we've got some backup storage in case we need anything to be done. So, of course... We can rotate here we can bring it into both sides here and then we can bring it out there and my pipe it right into there and I would say you know we're one two three four lines away so this would be of course one two three four lines away so let's go ahead and grab the storage I'm not sure uh, right there I think because I kind of like the the more asymmetrical or the the symmetrical look to this even though this one is one pipe in and that is this is two over here but it, it looks fine of course we could bring this pipe up to here and run it over and in up from there and we could run this one directly over and in and, and make a little bit more of a unique but that's fine so now we have a supply of oil being piped in and a lot of oil of that being piped in so the question is, why is this node up here? Oh, it is. Is it bringing oil? Oh, it is. It must have been one thing that wasn't completed because it didn't look like it was sending oil before. So this has a huge supply. It can hold 5,000 crude oil. So, of course, we've got that set up. Now, let's go ahead and fly up here fly super speed uh, over to here and go down then we need to set up an area that's going to use our oil more so or rather consume more oil than it already does and part of that is we've actually got a huge supply of hydrogen currently so 
do we really need more oil consumption would be a great question in my opinion yes yes we do because i love consuming oil so i'm going to set up just a little bit of oil refineries off screen real quick and then i will be right back hey guys so welcome back uh so from that break i will sh quickly show you here what we got done uh, i did set up our first actual node of um, transportation for oil so this is the demand station the other one of there's a supply station it's bringing a ton of oil in and should allow us to basically keep this thing pretty close to full we may need more drones or faster working drones which will of course come later i'm going to just use this extra fuel we set up a bigger refinery node for oil and hydrogen which is basically these 10 refineries up here and those are backed by 10 additional oil refineries that are doing x-ray cracking which consumes refined oil and hydrogen to make some energetic graphite and hydrogen or two hydrogen for every one hydrogen so it ups our total hydrogen production it also gives us a bunch of energetic graphite which essentially what we're going to be doing with is we're going to be taking that energetic graphite and i'm going to bring it out this side then i'll double it or i'll bring it out um maybe out this side and we'll double it back and we'll go over and we'll put it into this as a demand as a supply so that we can of course demand energetic graphite and get some so quickly we'll do that on screen so what we'll do is we'll come out there then we'll go up then we'll go like this and then we'll we get to there we'll go down out to there then we will come up here and i will Go like this and then i'm gonna go in through this side here and i'm gonna have i'm gonna have one more come out through there and quickly change that so that that is a little bit better and this will be two and this will be we will have a supply here of energetic graphite uh which will be our one input there then of course before we do anything too major um can i set up just a i can set up something like this and what i can do is i can copy this filter and grab energetic graphite then can i shift copy of course that'll allow us to pull our energetic graphite out of there transport it over and send it in as a consistent supply and we won't have very much energetic graphite coming from here so well actually we'll just leave that maxed out um so that'll continue to do that now we've got a bunch of hydrogen which needs to be in use and the only way we're using hydrogen right now is for red cube production so to keep that on ongoing i'm going to double stack this red cube production that'll allow hydrogen to start being consumed out of these red cube machines at a higher rate so that we can consume hydrogen so we can get our fuel processing back up additionally over here one of today's main objectives is to get structure matrix production online which is an extremely important um production so give me uh we've got the research centers here which are gonna go well we'll set up our first one here this will be producing yellow cubes which takes titanium crystals and diamonds and diamonds are produced from energetic graphite of course and titanium crystals are produced from organic crystals and titanium so that'll all be set up over here uh give me a few seconds to make sure i have everything we need to do this and then i will be back and i will show you the setup okay guys so welcome back uh there might have been a slight accident with the cuts but that's all right uh you would have seen me setting up this behemoth over here which stores, or rather doesn't store, but builds a shite load of energetic graphite and builds a shite load of diamonds. And that'll all go into this transport node, which can, of course, take the supply and the man and move it around. Now, to keep the machine moving and stable, we're going to set up an area where we can demand energetic graphite. Um... So right over here, we've been drawing energetic graphite from 
the uh, normal method, which is just to reproduce it over on the other side. And that's fine, except for what I'm thinking is to eliminate that completely. We can pull energetic graphite from here. And we no longer have to worry about running out of energetic graphite where none is coming through this line. So we can run it like that and have this come out here. And of course, this can have a demand for energetic graphite. And if you look at these towers, this is something that I didn't realize at first. When you look at these towers, um, there's a nice little like pop up if you get it right in the right spot. That filters what comes out of this output. So that way we know what's coming out and we know what it needs. And we can do that. You'll notice that this will start bringing over energetic graphite. And this will have a 5,000 capacity storage, but not only does it have a 5,000 capacity storage, it itself will have two Mark II storage conveyors, which allow it to store even more. Now these conveyors here, which are obsolete now, can be removed, saving us a ton of long, unneeded conveyor belts. You might be asking yourself why there was no energetic graphite coming through. That's a pretty simple question. Basically, it is the fact that these coal machines can consume more energetic graphite than we currently produce utilizing this facility. So when they're at maximum draw or 50% power load, their consumption rate is much higher, meaning this facility actually isn't self-sufficient without more power production. And that is kind of the unfortunate matter. So that of course doesn't leave us without a crap load of hydrogen here, which we're gonna need a bigger output. Oopsie, inventory's full. Um, so I forgot that I picked up a bunch of high purity silicon as well. I picked up some titanium and I'll show you that in a moment. This is producing, that has refined oil backup. Can We can't go from the second floor, but we can go from this first floor here. And I'm gonna go over like this, go over to here, go up, and then I'm gonna do something that you guys have seen before where I cut that. That allows us to get a little bit of a better looking conveyor that connects in here and then goes down. And we're gonna have it come over and go into the bottom storage tank over here. That will start moving a shitload of this refined oil through and allowing these power plants over here to start producing more power. This, these machines here are producing energetic graphite and by the looks of it, this still has plenty in storage, but it was having a problem outputting enough hydrogen to keep everything moving. Of course, as you can now see, our hydrogen production is going fine. But now we've got the slight problem of, well, these lines don't actually move enough hydrogen. So we're producing more hydrogen than we're capable of handling, which means this line's at a standstill, which means these, the oil coming off of this line is also at a standstill. So to prevent that backup, we're gonna rotate this around and come down into here. And then we're going to put one of these on. We're going to grab this order and we're going to set the filter for hydrogen. And we're going to go ahead and copy that sorter. And then we're going to go like this to filter hydrogen over. And of course, in order to get that moving, let's go ahead and for like three seconds, we're going to cut that off there. And of course, as you can see, we're actually producing more hydrogen than this little line here is capable of handling. So we're gonna put a second one on. Oopsie, that's doing something wrong here. Um,
So now we can actually cut that off there and we can go to a faster conveyor line that can handle more volume there to allow a lot more of that hydrogen through. And as you can see, we're still managing a massive amount of oil and all of our power plants have come back online. So we're producing plenty of power. Now, the next step here is, let me just double check something. There we go. So the next step here is, well, we're producing diamonds and we're producing plenty of them. We're producing over here, uh, titanium crystals, which are another major component that we needed. Next is to produce research facilities, which aren't that hard to produce, but are gonna require some finagling. First of all, our research centers here will go like this. Also, we're gonna set them to produce yellow cubes and copy the recipe so that we can produce more without having to worry. Now, this is a five tower setup. And we may need more production later, but we can of course actually get a ton of research labs doubted into these five towers here. So that is a concern that I do have we're going to set up a small storage right here, which as you come out of this, this will be essentially pulling out the diamonds, which is important because you will need to pull diamonds out of here. Then you will need to take the diamonds and bring them along the backside of here. and put them into the machines. That of course is our diamond output and to make a little bit of a kind of cool system, we're gonna actually do a bypass all the way around here. This will allow this side to also output diamonds which allows a faster output to allow more to conveyor line but also allows us to store extra just in case next we're going to come around here put a storage into there and this line will be backed off by two over here and will be wrapped around like so this line which has our beautiful titanium crystals on it will be removed and reconfigured to be much closer because I'm not quite sure how many of these um, we will need to be able to properly output we're gonna go for uh, one one and then a two so there's that and that's our tower setup then we're gonna need to power this behemoth which we can power from either side like so but we're also gonna need to provide individual power lines for there and there. Now part of the cool um, back up here is we're gonna build quickly um, another, well, we're gonna build a few more of these Mark II storage buildings. And one of them is gonna go right here on the end of this. And of course, just like the others, it will actually allow us to basically output one titanium crystal for each two that come in. That's going to allow us to essentially have a backup storage of titanium crystals. The next thing we're gonna do is set up one of those here, which will actually allow this to skip a conveyor line and save us a little bit of conveyors because we can output an input like that and it actually skips, but is a little bit quicker. These are actually lacking by the looks of it, titanium crystals which is an unfortunate thing to be lacking because we'll probably need more later on. Um, of course, so lacking titanium crystals isn't too hard of a problem to solve, especially considering by the looks of it, these are producing fine. Actually, part of the problem is that is not producing or giving organic crystals. So if we rotate our camera around here. And we 
we'll rotate that and bring that along there. And of course, organize that and organize that. There we go. The organic crystals will start coming out. Titanium will start moving and we'll start producing titanium crystals once again. Now, if we if we need to ultimately increase our production, we're still withdrawing titanium and organic crystals and as such, we can still produce more quicker, but it kind of looks like only the main tower is getting enough to run itself is that the case i wonder and it may be we may need more uh, titanium crystal production in order to produce more structure matrices um, for consumption and this is something that is kind of a big concern so uh, i'm going to pause the video for just a few seconds here uh, and and cut it forward but what I'm gonna do during that time is one I'm gonna look into producing some more titanium crystals on this planet I'm also gonna look and probably tear down this facility over here that we use for research and blue cube production I'm gonna probably set up blue cube production um, maybe over here as well as uh, well, blue cube production over here and then I'll probably reconfigure this area here this big break in the node where probably we're going to keep this big break i'm going to reconfigure the iron and copper veins to produce more blue cubes and store the blue cubes over here as well as set up more matrix labs to consume vast amounts of yellow cubes red cubes and blue cubes but i'm going to do that off screen so that you guys don't have to watch the boring part of tearing down um and rebuilding and i don't ha currently have the ability to do a um, time lapse so it's kind of unfortunate I can't I wish I could um, and maybe we have enough so that's why I want to pause and check it out so I will be back in a few seconds now before I forget one thing because I just cut the video out and I want to mention one last thing before I go uh, I'm gonna allow the blue cubes production but I want to queue up some research while we wait here so that we can start consuming some resources so we're gonna queue up high strength titanium alloy interstellar logistics system uh, high strength lightweight structure we're also going to queue up mini fusion and high strength materials as well as satellite distribution system and uh we're going to go over to the upgrades and we're going to queue up mechanical frame and inventory capacity and i will be right back the research will kind of continue because i'm going to pipe uh, the yellow cubes in somehow for a janky mess right now uh, but as soon as I get back we will have a redesigned blue and better consumption network okay I'm back once again just for a quick second here uh, I gotta go run some errands uh, during the recording of this so it's gonna take me a little bit longer to upload and I already want to apologize because it's already two hours late at the point that I'm starting like you know kind of have about halfway through the recording um, but I will get back on it as soon as I get uh, home from running this errand. Uh, but before I go, I'm just going to leave this running so we can consume some more of those blue cubes. So I'm going to queue up a little bit more research, including the next tier of inventory capacity and uh, the next tier mecha core. And uh, that'll consume a little bit more of those blue cubes for us, those tedious blue bastards and red bastards and yellow bastards, and kind of get us underway. And as you can see, I'm, I'm still working on the teardown here. These I'm just letting run because I need them to run. I'm going to rework the turbines, rework the iron ore vein. Uh, that's going to take a second. And this is just consuming or getting yellow cubes from over here. And I mean, it's going really really well um it looks like unfortunately all of the titanium is gone <laughs> which means we'll soon run out of yellow cubes so i may make a quick titanium run before but i'm going to do that off camera again uh i will get this done as soon as possible guys but hopefully you've enjoyed the episode so far so yeah hey guys welcome back for just another quick second we're going to queue up a little bit more research um including interstellar power transmission to consume a few more coils we're going to queue up the gas giant exploration which is a really cool one that i want to get into and we're going to queue up um 
need something that consumes a lot miniature particle collider satellite distribution network i think i want to go for another one more upgrade of some sort and what i'm thinking is we go for communication control to add two more construction zones to our network and without that uh, i'm going to get back to tearing down the other facility after i let these researchers kind of queue up i'm going to actually queue one more quick research in the upgrades tab here for um the carrier engines logistics carrier engine which is 20 percent logistic drone flight speed which is really important uh, and we'll i'll queue this up next which is the carrying capacity but that'll be here in a minute so i will be right back hey guys so uh time to finish up the video here uh with our research center so i want to fly around and show you a little bit of what we've done so i did talk about uh, doing some redesign around the base. So the first thing I redesigned was our copper array here, which has been shrunk up. And so all of our copper now comes over here um, very nicely and cleanly goes into these 12 smelters. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, sorry, 12, no, eight, 18 smelters, uh, which produces all of our, a ton of copper for us. And then the copper gets sent into this logistics node and it's supplying both the red cubes and the copper from this node. Uh, we redesigned the iron node over here to run a little bit more efficiently with our steel coming up into here. Our steel goes to here. We have a little bit of steel come off to the side to create a stockpile of uh, actual steel instead of iron ingots. We have a ton of iron ingots stockpiled. Then we have this giving us a supply for diamonds, energetic graphite, and uh, iron ingots, which this is currently backed up right now, which is fine. So we have our uh, coal node there. Then over here, uh, I went ahead and designed a uh, facility for the blue cube um, uh, pre-production, I guess is what you would call it. This facility utilizes copper and magnets and iron ingots to create computers, magnets, and then also processors as a back setup here. Uh, that'll create a stockpile of these processors for building uh, both logistic stations and logistic drones, which we needed more of. So I went, and get, went ahead and actually queued 10 of them. So we have 10 on hand. We also have the uh, logistic station, which we already placed. Um, and so as you can see, this is working great. Obviously, it looks pretty cool to have a ton of drones just flying around constantly. We've got all of our, our computers, our magnets. We need more copper coming in, I think which is a, a big thing right now. So I need to grab more processors here. I need to produce another 10 drones. If I can produce seven, I lack steel. Okay. So in here, I'm gonna throw this, this one guy right here has 25 drones in it. The reason so many drones is so that we can get a ton of copper and all and utilize as, many, as much copper backup as we can. Obviously, eventually that'll cap itself out, hopefully. Over here, we have zero drones in this, which is part of our new setup. Um, also, uh, off screen, I did, uh, I re set, uh, changed this a little bit, added a little bit more storage here. This is still doing uh, a supply supply demand for energetic graphite. We have more storage over here. Uh, I already showed you this guy's, this, that facility up there. Um, but one of the big things we need right now is uh, more of these online, which I will be working on here in a moment. But uh, what we wanted to do today was change up our blue facility and kind of um, show you how to set up really efficient um, nodes for production of our utilization for research. And so what I'm going to do here is we are going to do a max height facility for uh, research there and a max height facility here for research as well and then right here in the middle of those two facilities we're gonna do an additional max height facility um, and we have ten more and then I'm gonna go behind here and do another max height research facility and we still have some research left but for now that's gonna be our three research towers now for piping um, I'm gonna come off and kind of provide the blue there uh, and the red there then uh, our blue is going to come up out of the the side here is going to come over and we're going to we're going to go to there we're going to go up oh oh mess that up we're going to go up 
and then we're gonna break that back there and I don't think breaking that will work so I will just go from there and then go down and that allows us to bring I guess our, our blue in here uh, which is a pretty big deal so we need our blue to come in we need our yellow to come in so that's that provision of those two uh, and actually I'm gonna move these all up just a little bit here so that we can get a little bit better control so this will this will come over to here go like that this is going to come over to here go like that this is going to come out to here and connect it to there then obviously we're going to need a yellow pipe to run around the side here that will provide some to these two back here so we will have a side split like that we will have a side split like that and then have that come off and this can go as far as there um, and actually I'm gonna cancel that part right there then this is gonna run through along back here and well, I guess actually the only facility it needs to provide some to is that side because Essentially, it can provide. Uh, I'm gonna repipe this again. I'm trying to pipe this the most efficient way possible, and I don't know why I thought doing a ton of like. I mean, it would look really cool to have a ton of like splits and separate conveyor lines, but what I'm gonna do instead is come right out of the middle here. We're gonna go up to there, and then we're gonna split off in that direction. That will supply every building with yellow. Uh, which is easy enough and then a red's gonna be a little bit more a little bit more of a pain red's gonna come up through here and I'm gonna provide red to all the facilities using this line here with a jump there okay so we're gonna provide red there then we can actually I'm actually going to do that for there. So the red's going to have two lines coming out like little tentacle arms close to that side. Uh, and then slight modifications. Okay, so then we're going to go back down, go to the max length here. We're going to come off to there and we're going to come off from there now we need to provide blue which is gonna be fun so blue is gonna go right up here we're gonna wrap it around just like we did the yellow and we're gonna do a slight bit of difference we're gonna change a little bit of this stuff back here first of all that does not work at all secondly that doesn't work or look good right now so we're gonna we're gonna change this again just a little bit because I like I like my mirrors so I, I like having everything really really close together so what I'm gonna do is this will come over here and orange will run along the back side here um, run to there and then it'll run to there which looks good and then blue will come over here blue is gonna run closer to all of the machines also this tower needs to be broken down and that conveyor needs to be changed because this one was off of the original set of towers so we, we can always add more for vertical construction later but there goes that so that all lines up now there is, of course, we need to provide blue cube cubes and yellow cubes. So this will provide blue cubes to this research facility here. This will provide yellow cubes to that research facility there. Now we've got the slight bit of a problem where we have to figure out how to solve the other production. So how I'm gonna do this is this is providing the re okay wait 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 those convey that conveyor provides the red cubes 
and I actually lied. So let's change some stuff up real quick. First of all, these are providing red cubes. So the red cube provisions are actually a little bit of a different story. They're going to be... Um, okay. Okay, so this provides yellow cubes to that side. So that'll provide us yellow cubes. That provides us blue cubes. This will provide us blue cubes to this side. So I don't know what I'm doing over here, but we're going to change that around because I need to provide... Oh, wait, wait, wait. We're already providing yellow cubes, which is part of the problem. So... Okay, wait, 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 wait. We're, I'm going to redesign this again because I can't make up my mind on how to actually do this in a somewhat decent manner. This will actually support more facilities being added on later as well, which will be nice. This that I'm going to try here. So we'll run out here and we'll come over to here and we'll run uh, forward like that. That provides me yellow okay wait wait blue's gonna be a little bit of a problem still because i gotta figure out blue red is gonna run just like it is now and what i'm gonna do yellow's gonna run along here and it'll run over here and it'll run down to there Blue will run over to here, convert that, uh, and to there. And what I'll actually do is with blue, is I will send it up slightly here, then have it drop back down to provide blue cubes into there which also means I can provide yellow and blue cubes to each one of those then red can always come up here straight back and boom so now it's just a matter of making sure that I pipe everything in once so blue cubes red cubes yellow cubes also also red cubes um, to make things kind of a little bit more symmetrical one. I'm gonna make it look like this conveyor I can't actually but I can There's a trick to that if I place this conveyor in underneath before uh, Doing the from point A to point B here It can use use the half height there So That's provided in then this can provide red cubes there the red cube will go there. This will provide a yellow cube. Okay, so then on this side, again, we need to provide, oh, shoot. Well, that's a little bit of a problem because red cubes aren't getting provided to the middle very well. No, actually, we provide that there and then the long to there then we do the same thing over here we provide a long one to there we provide a long one to there then we provide a short one to there and a short one to there And will that work? So the only things not getting a certain type of cube are these first ones here, which need a yellow cube. 
and a blue cube. And they won't actually have access to power at first, which is fine, because what I'm going to do is actually set up a power there and a power there. And additionally, because each one of these doesn't quite come out fast enough, we're going to do a connection in like that and have a second output there. And same thing with the yellow. We're going to go like this, then into there, have a second yellow out cube there. And for the purposes of putting cubes in, we're going to do the same thing so that we can provide cubes into the storage just quicker. We're going to add an additional storage for each one of the cubes over here. Now you can notice each cube is a full block. Each Everything is getting its cubes worth of research. We got yellow fast and a red going in fast. We got a red going in slow and a yellow going in slow there, which is working fine. Then over here, we have a blue going in slow, a red going in slow, a blue fast, red fast. Then this is a yellow fast. So this tower has a blue slow. This tower has a slow yellow. These towers... The middle two towers are they're going to be the quote unquote quickest towers and of course now you can see that the research is now fully provided for i'm going to just throw some cubes in there and you can kind of see that it works out really well and it and it looks pretty cool because you can kind of see like the yellow and blue intermink like going into one which is blue and then it splits back out and you got the red coming up and you can ultimately have six towers for research and it just kind of it kind of looks cool when you're looking at it, in my opinion. So today we got a, a buttload done, and we ran really long today, but that's all right. But we got a buttload done in terms of what we have available for research. I'm gonna keep some research before we go. We have the red reworked to work with the logistics tower, plus a ton more copper ingot production. We have a ton more iron ingot production. We got a ton more energetic graphite and diamond production which we actually need to start consuming because we actually don't allow any graphite out of there. We've got graphite production over here and we've got crude oil production coming in. We've got hydrogen and stuff production over here. So we've got, ultimately we grew a lot. Now, one last thing before I get off here or before I end the video, the these facilities here are having a problem. So in between, I might rework that to have a little bit more graphite production. Not entirely sure there. Uh, might change their fuel source as well because we have a ton load, ton of hydrogen that we are producing. Um, that is the one thing I want to quickly um, help to solve. So I'm going to grab some glass from here. I also did this on camera today. Uh, I think we set up prism. If we, if I didn't do this on camera, I set this up. It's pulling from the same uh, production nodes. We have just six over here and then we're producing glass to produce prisms and we have a ton of prisms up um and this is kind of a pretty big deal to to kind of get that set up um because i really wanted it also we we have other things that we're producing so i need uh i'm gonna need plates and uh ingots sorry i see i say plates they look like plates to me i'm gonna need plates uh and i'm gonna need magnets which we have a uh, ton of storage for magnets over here which isn't even gonna have magnets in it if i had to guess because you know, just finished the orbit or orbit collector because over here we have some magnets hopefully yep we do um can we how many of those can we produce we can produce 18 that's not a whole lot and we actually have to produce computers to do that can do we have any storage for computers over here we don't I'm, I'm actually kind of surprised that we don't have any extra spare computers lying around. Or we're, we're, well, we're lacking copper, which is kind of a, a problem, really. Um, considering I have so many drones here, I'd, I'd figure they would be getting a lot more copper going. Um, well... We don't have computers then, apparently. Um, I'm gonna need to, apparently I'm gonna need to add more drones to that to get more computers up. Uh, just Let's just produce the 10. Um, actually, the funny thing is, we should have, we've got 12 computers there. We've got a few stored computers 
all over the place. We have kind of everything just stored randomly throughout um, our base. Yeah, we can produce 20 without building any computers. Um, so I want to I want to actually increase the red matrix production, which we're gonna need more graphite for. Realistically, we need a ton more graphite because right now this graphite machine produces 264 per minute, which, if you think about that, is 240 is four items per second on that conveyor. This consumes one item per second, so we could run off of just this node here another one of these this one here can also run two more of these this one can run uh, another one maybe if it's lucky it depends but we we actually are low on graphite uh, for that reason and we're actually low on graphite over here as well which is also kind of unfortunate because well you know we have graphite production over here but part of the problem is, now that we have the graphite production over here, it's the fact that the graphite can't get transported because of these diamonds. So I'm going to actually go ahead and, and yeah, my, my inventory is full of diamonds now. But we are going to begin that supply chain over again. And we're going to delete 2,300 diamonds um, so that hopefully the diamonds can get emptied out here. And actually something I'm going to do is... Um, we're, we're, we're using the diamonds to produce, we're using the diamonds there, okay? That's fine and all. Part of a problem is we're going to, we're going to space that out by three. We're going to delete a bunch of diamonds. Again, and then I'm going to delete this and part of the thing I'm going to do is put a rotated storage three tall in there that will take diamonds in spit diamonds out and it'll make this a little bit more bulky but that's all right That'll hold a ton more diamonds, which is really important because that means that um, we can hopefully keep this graphite production up. We're going to need more yellow cube production, which ultimately is going to take more of the um, titanium crystal production, which means we're going to need more organic crystal production. But we're also going to need to start importing titanium from another planet. Um, and logistics engine level, so drones fly a little bit quicker. Uh, so before I in the video for today the last thing i want to do is spend a little bit more money on tech that we can research and i can finish and let q research between episodes so that not a ton of time is wasted first thing we're going to do is logistics carrier capacity we're going to queue the first three tiers of that um actually we're going to queue four tiers of that and we're going to queue um we can't do research speed yet but I'm going to grab a logistics carrier's engine, logistics carrier's engine, and then I'm going to also grab um, okay, so then also vertical construction something I would like, but that's not super important right now. Um, I actually want to like kind of get dr the next tier of drive engine as well as drone engine as well as energy circuits and stuff like that, but that's the research I'm going to queue for the for uh that will uh hopefully f uh, i'll just let kind of finish off screen and between uh this episode and next episode as well as you know um i'm gonna work on a little bit of like quality of life things like um upgrading this energetic graphite energetic graphite outputs on both sides here and i'm gonna work on probably getting the stuff together to increase the size of this titanium crystals space as well as working on increasing the organic crystal production from over here uh, which will actually we we partial part of the issue was that it wasn't producing due to this storage here being full of hydrogen which it soon will be full of hydrogen again which will be a big problem so I need to find a way to start consuming a ton of hydrogen in between episodes and that'll likely come in the form of increasing the amount of energy to graphite that we have 
so that we can run more of these towers because I'll probably um, up the tower size on these to a max, max size towers. In fact, I'm going to do that now, but part of the problem is they actually don't produce enough graphite. Now, currently, we, how much, we are like right at our generation capacity for the entirety of the network, which is kind of a problem because that also means that a ton of these are down right now because of how much or how fuel, how little um, refined oil we're getting, which is a problem because we've got crude oil sitting here, but we have a ton of stuff sitting here as well. So we need to start using this hydrogen so that we can start um, we, we just need to start using it faster, which part of that's going to come in the form of increasing the red cube production, which I'll do off screen since I already set up that facility on screen. Um, but yeah, that's that's stuff. I will show you all that starting the next steps to kind of run you whether through what, I'll, what I always do off screen like I always do. Um, but without further ado, I will let you guys go. Have a great day. Don't don't hurt anybody, you know, kind of the general stuff. Be a, be a great person, uh, but have a great one. And I will see you guys later.